Shaver 1000 here. Tonight, okay, it's getting dark here, but wherever you're at. Today we're going to be uh, doing updates on some of the products that I've review, reviewed in the past and had a chance to uh, check them out and see how they're doing. So I'm going to let you know how some of these products are doing and uh, whether or not you should maybe consider buying them or passing on them. Stick around. Okay guys, first of all, let me start by saying I know some people's results, they vary. Um, some things that might not work well and I think are junk might work well for someone else and might be just fine for them. You know, maybe I got a defective product or, or whatever the case may be. I'm just giving you my opinion on these things and what I think of them. Uh, the price, and I'll put down the bottom of the screen, I'll show you little clips of the original video that I made when I was reviewing these products. And then, um, I'll let you know how they're doing now it'll have the date to the date of when so you know how long I had them and what I gave for them okay so first I'm gonna start with this light up here above the garage this little solar light okay so here's the clip of when I bought this light. Okay guys, so sorry, but I could not find the review on that So I don't have a video clip to throw in here But anyway, if you're interested in this light Here's how it turned out. Okay, so that light I was just at the Dollar General store um, I believe that's where we got that from and uh, They were $13 That light there lasted about a week and a half ish um, maybe even a week, but I'll say a week and a half for benefit of the doubt. But the first thing started happening, it didn't stick up there. The double-sided tape would not stick. So I ended up using um, silicone caulking to put that up there. And like I said, for a week, it worked fine. We pulled in. As soon as we pulled in the driveway, the light kicked on like it's supposed to for a week to a week and a half. And then... One night we're off work just like we did the night before and it never and it didn't come on and it's it's never come on since So in my opinion, it's not worth the 13 bucks. I would go with Try different companies read the reviews um, You know just check it out and do your homework because I know it's only a $13 light But to some people, you know, they may have to scrounge to get that $13 So let's move on to item number two and here's item number two guys it is the tornado the electric can opener um, take a look at the original clip now so I'm gonna pull this up against here and I'm gonna hit the on off button okay so this was a dollar a, do, a dollar general well we called them dollar stores in Ohio it didn't matter what, whether it was family dollar or dollar general same company but I think it was 20 bucks and I still use it every day I just used it yesterday and I may end up using it tonight but I use it probably at least six times a week when I don't use it her mom uses it and she uses it um, it is slower than some of its competitors but all in all it gets a two thumbs up and it's an A plus for me on to item number three okay guys here's item item number three my wireless lapel mics take a look at the clip nice packaging very nice nice box uh, i never heard of this fee horribly <laughs> uh uhf wireless recording microphone system okay so the only issue i've ever had with these now you do want to put, which I have, rechargeable batteries in them, but if you just buy those cheap batteries, they won't, they doesn't, they don't last very long. Um, and this is Monkey's lapel mic, one of hers from her, from her um, 
wireless mic set um, because mine see this one's metal but my clip was plastic and it broke that's the only problem I had with them other than that I use these a lot probably 60% of my videos 50 to 60% of my videos are done wearing these so uh, again two thumbs up and uh, a plus item number four okay guys this is item number four and here's a quick clip of this light being used pretty impressive right I think so now let's pull this out let's go on out here and I'm just going to slide this out like this or slide it back in like this and there we go now look at that okay now this didn't come by itself it came in a kit Ozark Trail from Walmart that her mom bought me it has a little hatchet a knife a machete this thing um, came in a kit it's like 30 bucks now I haven't got to use the knife or the hatchet or the machete that much but this thing is amazing um, it's not as bright as it used to be because these are still the original batteries in this light and I know I've only had it since Christmas but we use this thing night fishing and when we go night fishing we're out for hours and that thing is constantly on we use it around the house I've used it to work on cars I've used it you know outside here it's my go-to light and I love it again a plus two thumbs up now let's go to item number five okay here's item number five this is my light band headlamp and again here's a short clip of when I reviewed it oh man wow guys this is I mean this is amazing let's go to let's go to low there's low there's off now this light I have used more times than I can count it still has the original batteries that came with it in it it is getting dimmer than what it used to be but I don't have rechargeables in this I just got those cheap batteries they give to you and this light has been awesome I love that thing I've used that a lot probably as much as I've used this so yes this thing has been an excellent light um, again a plus two thumbs up for me so um, but the next one like I said I'll get the get the bigger one they have one that's a little it costs a little more but it's a little bit brighter but that is perfect it's comfortable can't say enough good things about it so so far these four items have been great that item up there has been horrible like I said this is just my opinion and, and my uh, experience with them so let's move on to item number six and here we are guys this is item number six this is Walmart it was 30 bucks I use this light a lot I probably use it in 40 to 50 percent of my videos because it's usually off camera because I have behind the camera but this thing has been excellent let's turn it on here there it is um, again it's got different modes and here's a clip of the review on this light now this middle button here is where you'll change your color there's that I'll turn up a little bit so you can see it more okay so there's that um, let me get you out of the light here uh, there are some things I don't like about it I wish number one it was battery powered um, you know I wish they they can put a battery in here somewhere I wish it was rechargeable and number two it is kind of flimsy I don't like the way these things turn because if you go to adjust something it'll fall down but I mean other than that I've really had no issues with the light 
it is light <laughs> I mean as in weight wise it's very light um, and like I said I, I we do use this a lot monkey has used it um, it seems to be holding up well I just think for thirty dollars it's a little too much um, even knowing if I'd known what I know now, I probably wouldn't have just paid 30 bucks for it. I think the way it is, $20 would be a, a fair price. It'd be a great price for it, and then I would recommend it. I don't recommend it at $30 um, unless you are going to be using it every day, you know, in almost every video. Then I can see it. Um, I myself have other lights I can use this one is nice and I love the functions I just to me it's just $30 is too much for not having a rechargeable battery you know I gave what 30 bucks for a grinder that you know I mean of course it's not battery powered but you get the point you know what I'm saying I mean um, 30 bucks for a light that does not have a rechargeable battery in it somewhere I, I just think it's too much because you know it's plastic and aluminum there's a little bit of steel here but yeah I mean as far as functionality and it working and and lasting it is it is it is great for that I still just I just to me 30 bucks I think it's too much um, even 25 bucks I think would be fair but 30 would be fair if it had a rechargeable battery in it but like again it's just just my personal opinion I've got it plugged in but I do have that uh, which I couldn't find I found it the other day but I couldn't find it my hand warmer which is also a charging pack a power pack um, it clips in here just fine and it runs that just fine so I mean you know to some people 30 bucks it might be well worth it to them but to me, just for somebody, like, especially if you're starting out on YouTube, and I don't think I'd give $34, $20, I think is very fair. But, you know, I really can't say anything bad about it other than a couple things I dislike. You know, like the way you turn these and they'll drop down. Um, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Okay, guys, so there's six of the products I've done re reviews on in the past updates okay uh, like I said some of the um, some of these products you know that I like you may have had trouble with if you have let me know in the comments below um, it's interesting how some people can have something that that works just fine for them for years and other people have and it's total junk for them uh, like I said that light above the garage I think it's a five dollar light maximum all day long because it like I said I'm pretty sure it was only a week, but I'll say a week and a half for the benefit of the doubt, but it still wasn't worth, uh, it's $13 now, I, f I forget what I paid for it, I think it was around $15 or something like that, I can't remember for sure, but I do know that it should have lasted longer than that, I should have took it back, but it was one of those things that I knew I was going to do a review on, or do a review update on, so I kept it. Um, you know, like the Tornado, the can opener, uh, a lot of people don't like them. A lot of people say they're too slow. To me, it's fine. I'm not in that big of a hurry to where, you know, i got to open up a can that's, you know, 30 seconds faster than that. That's not going to make me or break me. So, if I'm opening something to make can a bunch of cans to make chili, you know, I'll put it on a can, start it, stir my, you know, stir my, uh, brown my hamburger and stuff like that, and... To me, it's not a deal breaker. I thought 20 bucks was a little high at first, but nah, hell, it's lasted this lasted me this long, and we use it daily. So, but anyway, there's some of the things. Hopefully, you know this helped. Um, if you guys are considering any of these products, I'll do some more of these. Uh, I need to do more uh, review updates and let you know how things are are going. I know I mention a lot of times in my videos about different things but you know if you don't if you miss that video you'll miss you know what I had said about that product so I'll do more of these hopefully you like this one <coughs> excuse me and hopefully it helped you guys so uh with that being said I'm gonna say Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now and we'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned for more awesome videos and don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel she's awesome we'll see you guys soon bye bye and take care